the Tesla electric semi-truck, set to revolutionize trucking as a whole. As of the making of this video, it's not out yet, but it's coming soon in 2020. Oh. Oh, and they want to use lithium-ion batteries, oh no! Alright, my swindle sense is tingling, so let's take a look at the Tesla electric semi. How does it measure up? Can it truly revolutionize long-distance trucking and make it environmentally friendly? Let's find out. Alright, welcome, welcome, welcome to the, to the, welcome to the Tesla semi-truck event. I hope you like what you see. Generally speaking, electric vehicles are fine. They are better than internal combustion engines, but by themselves they will not be a solution to anything, as in traffic or climate change. Now the two main things hindering electric cars from real mass adoption are range and price. Even today, in 2021, electric cars are kind of a niche, meaning that only rich and or environmentally conscious people will get electric cars. And this is because of the two aforementioned hindrances, i.e. if you want an environmentally friendly electric car that comes even near the performance of petrol cars, get ready to be paying out the ass for it. But trucking itself doesn't really have these problems, does it? Trucks are big, powerful machines able to carry a lot of battery weight, so range should not be a problem. And pricing should not be a problem either, because logistics companies have significantly more capital or they can leverage more loans if they want to than a private person. Oh man, so far this sounds pretty promising. Did Elon Musk actually do it? Did he finally create something that isn't just a worse version of what we already have? Did he? <laughs> All right, let's take a look. So here we are on Tesla's website where they list the most important specifications of the semi-truck. We have an acceleration with a full permissible load to 60 miles per hour at 20 seconds. We have a 60 miles per hour up a 5% grade. We have a 300 to 500 mile range. We have a four independent motors on real axles as a powertrain, energy consumption, fuel savings, base price, blah, blah, blah. Huh, the most important thing seems to be missing. Weird. You know, whenever a company puts out a new electric car, the first question of literally everyone is, okay, how far will this thing go with one battery charge? But logistics companies are after a very different number, one we call load capacity. And as I've mentioned, strangely enough, it is missing from the Tesla website. But Elon, why wouldn't you publish the load capacity? That is your money shot, that is the most important thing in logistics, that's the one thing companies care about. Okay, you know what, I'm going to help out Elon Musk and calculate the load capacity for him. Him. And afterwards, he'll be free to use the numbers in my video and put it on his website. So first, let's do the calculations for your average combustion engine semi-truck. So trucks have a weight limit which they cannot exceed. This is 80,000 pounds in the US or 36 tons. The weight of the cargo plus the vehicle cannot exceed this number. And so your average semi-truck weighs 35,000 pounds or 16 tons. This is of course uh, engine plus trailer. And so the fuel tanks of trucks can hold around 300 gallons or 1135 liters. One liter of fuel weighs 0.77 kilograms and so a full tank will weigh 874 kilograms. So let's round it up to one ton for the sake of simplicity, meaning 16 tons of truck plus one ton of fuel. So with that we use up 17 tons of our allowance of 36 tons, meaning we'll be able to transport 19 tons of useful cargo. Alright, so let's see how the Tesla Semi measures up to this. And this will be determined by our concept of the day, 1 to 20. Meaning, to get the same result as with using one kilogram of fossil fuel, you need 20 kilograms of battery. This should also factor in the efficiency difference between electric and combustion engines, but this is of course an approximation. So if you want the same result as a conventional truck with 874 kilos of fuel, your battery will weigh 17 tons. So a 16 ton truck and a 17 ton battery is 33 tons, meaning that you'll have a load capacity of 3 tons. That's one sixth that of a regular truck. And that's why the number is missing from Tesla's website. But don't worry, Elon Musk has already hinted at a battery capacity jump in the future. He suggested that Tesla may be able to produce better batteries, which could even enable electric planes. Okay, alright. What's that? Elon Musk promises a 50% increase in energy density. Alright, let's take a look. So if one kilogram of fossil fuel stores, say, 20 units of energy, then one kilogram of battery currently holds one unit or one twentieth. Elon Musk wants to increase this by 50% to 1.5 units, meaning that you would go up to around 13 kilograms of batteries storing as much as 1 kilogram of fuel. This would of course be an improvement over the 20 units. Meaning that Elon Musk's theoretical future could be maybe perhaps hyper battery would still weigh about 11 tons. This leaves us with a load capacity of 9 tons, which is less than half of a regular truck. Maybe. 
if they can put together the battery and if it will be as advertised. At that point and only at that point will you be able to carry 50% less cargo than a regular truck. And if you come up with a battery that has a similar energy density to regular fuel, then fine I guess. But then you're going to have other problems, such as what if the battery catches fire? You know how Teslas sometimes spontaneously combust? Imagine this thing doing it. Or better yet, imagine a tunnel accident. Dying in a chemical inferno would be the ultimate Elon Musk epic bacon 420 way to go out. For some people anyway. So anyway, the Tesla semi truck, complete failure. And it closely follows the usual Elon Musk pattern. You know, it's like a subway but shittier, it's like a bus but shittier, it's like an airplane but shittier, it's like a high speed train but shittier, it's like a freight train but shittier, and now we have a semi truck but shittier. And I feel additionally sorry for Elon, really. It will be difficult for him to enter the trucking business, since among trucks, gamer lights are pretty widespread already, so it won't be easy to bamboozle people who are journalists. Well, as you descend the escalator into the loop station, you see the Teslas waiting to whisk you into a tunnel 43 be feet below ground. Now, you might think, all right, it's like a subway. But this is more like a highway underground. And because it's Las Vegas, this is also a thrill ride. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I have a Patreon if you think this content is worth your money. Link is in the description. And I'll see you next time.